Hi there, I'm Ghost Prime and welcome to my channel. I want to take a look at the Voyager class Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime from the forthcoming movie. Now, I like this design. I think it's a really good design for Optimus Primal. I do think it can use a little bit of color, but overall, I think it does a good homage to the original Optimus Primal. But as a toy, how does it stand up? I want to do some comparisons to the Kingdom version in this video to kind of give a sort of a value thing. This guy does ring up about $35, which in my opinion is a lot of money for what it is. But I'm going to go over that and try to give you an idea of value and maybe if you should hold out for the Studio Series or pick this one up. So anyway, uh, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Without further ado, let's get to the review. And here he is inside the package. As you can see, this is a giant window. You can grab his head, take that off. Uh, he's got a giant uh, picture of himself right there in monkey mode. Optimus Primal right down there. Rise of the Beast logo. Transformers. There is Monkey. A angry Monkey on the back. 24 steps from Monkey to Robot. On the side, you have his arm. And the Maxwell logo on the top. Rise of the Beasts. Right, let's get this guy out of the package. So you do have swords here. It comes with two of these, which are very reminiscent of his uh, his original ones in Beast Wars. I love how these look, and I'm glad he has these in the movie. And and the figure. And we'll get some close-up on this figure right now. It's like, like that head sculpt, the bright blue eyes. I do wish he had more color on him, um, because I think it'd be really, really nice. Like, a blue head would be fantastic. But maybe they didn't want it to be too Optimus Prime. Not sure why they did that in the movie. Love the detail here. I think it's really nice. I love all the detail. I wish he had more paint. Um, but you see the highlights there. There's a there's a Maximal logo, tiny one on his chest. Kind of move down, paint on the legs and on the shins. Unpainted feet. Turn them around. Show the, the hair detail. He has a bunch of paint on the back. Again, it's all that one sort of... Uh, pinkish silver color no paint on the fists they do look just bare plastic i think those are the worst parts about it but overall i think it looks decent as for the swords you can put them in his hand like this either side where he has these two ports on the back where you can take have this little peg and they peg on like so so there he goes that's how he is all armed up now Real quick, I get a comparison here with the kingdom. And as you can see, the kingdom is about the same size, but does have opening fingers. This one does not have any opening fingers. He has these guns here in his arms, which this one does not have. No hidden weapons whatsoever. He has the shoulder cannons. Again, this one lacks all those pieces. But design-wise, I think that it, it really looks like Optimus Primal. There he is from the back. He does have a large butt flap. But it overall, looks pretty good. Design-wise, actually reminds me of this toy a bit. So let's take this out real quick and we'll go over articulation. So for articulation, the head, I think it's on a ball joint, but you get some good expressive is this right there, but it's very hard to turn. But you can look. It doesn't quite oh okay. There I got it to go all the way around. But then it couldn't do that before, but it's hard to turn and kind of hits this back piece. Uh, the shoulders out this far, all the way around, bicep swivels. He has 90 degrees at the elbow. He has wrist rotation. As you can see, it's hollow right there at the wrist. But he has wrist rotation. He has no ab crunch. Not, not usually common in these type of figures. But he has a waist rotation. Kick. And back because he has two, two butt flaps. He can go about that far if you move the butt flaps out of the way. The leg can go kind of all, all the way around. Now the feet. The feet have an ape stance. Very, very small rocker there. But you kind of make him look like, like he's stepping like this by doing that, by kind of breaking the foot right there. Those don't actually tab in, so it's not really doing much. One thing on mine I do want to know, it doesn't affect anything, but this, super loose. Well, this one is not. That is a bummer. Overall, I think he has a good, 
good amount of posability on him. So transformation wise, transformation on him is very, very simple. It's, it's kind of got a cool thing with the chest where you take this panel, open it up. There is monkey chest. Uh, you kind of take it and kind of pull it out just a tad because it does tab and get it. I get my fingernail in there to open this thing up. Like you see the gap right there. There we go. Pull that open. You see the monkey head. You kind of take this whole piece, which is very tight on mine. And just yank it out. Of course, it's hard to do on camera because nothing is easy on camera. Kind of pull that out like that. Twist that all the way around. Push that back in. Very similar to the Kingdom version. Then you want to take this piece, which actually does slide in and out, and just slide it all the way in. Put that in there like that. Doesn't clip in or anything. Take the chest and just fold that right back up where it was. So I think it's cool that it has a fake chest to go on top of this chest. It goes boop, boop. I think that's kind of a cool little uh, transformation feature. So the arms don't really do anything with. Kind of move those out of the way. You'll take the waist. Uh, let's move this butt flap first. Take the waist. Turn that all the way around. And then we're going to take the feet and then fold in the toes on the outside, either side of the feet. Take this little panel on the shin. Go ahead and lift that up. And then put that right in there. Foot right in there. Same thing on this side. Close it up. Hollow feet. That's kind of irritating. It's on the back. Take the leg all the way back. Pull that around. That and then just this just kind of sets right there. So we're pretty much done. Just got to move the arms. That other side. And put the head up. And there he is in gorilla mode. In gorilla mode, you can store the weapons. Just like you can in robot mode. Because it doesn't really go anywhere. Put them on the back if you wish. I prefer to keep them off because it is a gorilla. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay. I had a couple things about it that I would like to have seen. is maybe his this here piece to have some type of way to clip it in. So every time you move the arm, it doesn't come in, you know, back into robot mode. Very small. Very minor thing. Um, maybe this could clip in a little better because it just kind of sits there. But it doesn't look too bad because the colors do match. It's kind of the same as Kingdom, right? Uh, here's the head. We'll do some articulation. Head is articulated up and down and kind of look around like that. Not too much further than that. Arms are the same. Nothing in the legs unless you want to break this. You could kind of make them stand up a bit by extending the legs. Make him, you know, standing, standing gorilla human type humanoid form, which is, which is just something you can do, you know, if you want to do it, that's, there it is. So let's do uh, comparisons real quick. And there's the kingdom version. So you can see it's pretty much exactly the same size. Very similar sort of way it looks from the side there. Down. So it's all all very similar. But again, you don't get a lot of the articulation that this one has. Uh, like in the in the hands being able to open. These are solid fists. You know, I, I do I think the head, you get a little bit more movement out of the head. The shoulders have sort of this motion with the uh with the butterfly right there. This has really just none of that. Uh, there's something I'd like to see on a leader class version, but should we really need to pay fifty dollars for it? I don't know. Uh, that said, I do like this figure. I do, I really, really do like the figure. I mean, the head sculpt is is decent. I wish it, again it had some highlights or something, but it looks like this on screen version. He's very bright blue eyes. Um, other than that, you know, not much different than robot mode. So that's how they they compare there. Now let's uh, look up the back. So you can see, it does take a lot of cues from this one. And one more quick comparison. Because I forgot to do it earlier in the review. There it is with the blade with the kingdom one. I actually really like the sharpness of this. I think it looks really good. So, 
let's do some final thoughts. So overall, I think it's a great figure. The price point is a little high for what it is, especially when you start to look at the Kingdom version and the gimmick that the Kingdom version has, has a lot more moving parts, more paint, and those types of things for, I think it was a cheaper price. However, I do like the design, and I think it's a really good representation of his on-screen appearance, despite not being a Studio Series figure. I think it does a really good job. Again, I would like to see some color on it, but that's more just the design of the films, and you know we all know how that goes. But I could recommend him if you want something in this size. The rumored leader class version that will be coming out in Studio Series will be a lot bigger. So depending on, well, hopefully it will be a lot bigger. Depending on what you're going for in your collection, you might want to wait. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you later.